every system is going to have extra flow from uh, clear water. So either rain induced or groundwater induced extra flow is coming in. And so then what you're trying to do is determine what those values are for each event and then know where what regions of your system have the worst issues. Say we've broke down a city into 10 districts, so 10 flow meters, then we'll break that down and we'll go and we'll say, okay, district one had the one flow meter down here, we'll put another maybe five, depending on how everything flows. It's kind of like a river system. So you kind of go to the tributaries and you go up and you try and find where maybe that issue is coming from if you can and then say okay now meter 1-4 is where all the issues are. Here at SEH everyone that's doing this work is confined space trained and they make sure of that so safety's first there so we don't have any issues. So we make sure that all our confined space is done, we do everything correctly, we have our um, proper gear we're able to go down about 100 feet with the gear that we have, and we have done, done that. We've actually gone deeper with the help of uh, city. They have some other gear for going down in the cage truck. So we have done some of that stuff and actually do deep entries on a regular basis. We're going in and we take our meter that we have. Meters, the probe would be attached to a, a band that sits into the pipe compression against the inside of the pipe so then the probe can sit at the bottom if need be depending on the depending on the uh, meter type. We have a um, collector app GIS based um, app that we end up putting in all the data for the install, all the data if we go out and download and all that stuff but say for the install it, you put in the pipe size, pipe material, um, condition of the manhole, location, traffic wise, type of flow, if the flow's laminar or if it's uh, turbulent flow, so you can get an idea there. We even take photos of the install and then attach that into that um, data set. The main issue with a lot of these, the metering itself is to get someone to take ownership and care about the data itself and make sure that the data is accurate because the one thing that we've found is anyone can go out and get data data is easy to produce. Quality data, on the other hand, and data that you trust to actually take then the time to do all this other work upon is everything.